see formation of hydronium ion okay as you know hydronium ion represent is represented as h3o plus okay to in order to explain the formation of hydronium ion first of all we will have to understand the formation of water molecule okay the formation uh, the formula for water is h2o if you see the electronic configuration of hydrogen it's one the electronic configuration of oxygen is 26 so the valency of hydrogen is 1 the valency of oxygen there are six electrons in the outermost orbit it needs two more to make octet so its valency is 2 if you exchange these formula uh, if you exchange these valencies okay the formula becomes h2o okay we will just show with the help of diagram quickly the formation of water molecule so there are two atoms of hydrogen and there is one atom of oxygen I will draw the oxygen atom first. There are two electrons in the first orbit. There are six electrons in the second orbit which will be represented like this. Plus I will draw one hydrogen atom on one side with an electron and I will draw another hydrogen atom on the other side with this electron. Now when these atoms combine together you can see here the oxygen atom first of it the two electrons these four electrons of oxygen will remain as they are now I'll have to show the overlapping of the orbits to show the sharing of electrons you can see this is the electron from hydrogen and this is the electron from oxygen similarly here also this is the electron from hydrogen and this is the electron from oxygen now if you see here there are six electrons of oxygen of its own and this one electron and this one electron are shared so total number of electrons in the outermost orbit for oxygen becomes 6 plus 2 8 similarly hydrogen is having one electron of its own and this one electron it is sharing from oxygen so now hydrogen is having both the hydrogens will have two electrons in its shell so it will complete its duplet state now this is about the formation of water molecule but you can see over here there are two more pairs of electrons which are not shared at all these are known as lone pair of electrons all right so these lone pairs of uh, lone pair of electrons also will have ability to attract the positive charge now whenever there is a hydrogen ion these hydrogen ion will be present in presence of an acid okay so whenever an acid is dissolved you can see for example you can take here hcl hydrochloric acid it will produce h plus plus cl minus now this is a positive ion which is carrying a positive charge and obviously the lone pair of electrons will carry the negative charge so there will be a force of attraction between these positive ion and the lone pair of electrons so these both will combine together and they will form H2O is already there and one more H with a positive charge so this together gives us H3O plus now this all can be shown with the help of diagram also and with the help of an equation also okay I'll first uh, take this in the form of an equation water is H2O it is combining with H plus that is hydrogen ion this is due to the presence of an acid this together two hydrogen and one more H will become H3O here there is no charge on ox uh, water here there is a positive charge so overall charge is going to be H3O plus this is nothing but hydronium ion now this also can be represented with the help of the diagram now water molecule again I'm just showing the outermost orbit of oxygen
you can see there are eight electrons plus this H is there you can see there is no orbit so the proton is carrying a positive charge so what will happen this hydrogen will come over here and it will share this pair of electrons so the oxygen atom is already over here which I will draw as it is these two electrons are over here these two electrons over here other all parts which are there they are remaining uh, remaining same as it is but this proton which is there it comes over here make a box over here because it is carrying a positive charge this is formation of hydronium ion that is represented diagram